Hello! In this video, we will be showing you how to get rid of this annoying error, the course error, which is cross origin request blocked. This happens usually when you are posting from one domain name, in my example is tours.com, to a, another domain name like localhost or another any domain name, in matter of fact. So, how to do that? I'm going to go to my backend project side and go to my entry point, usually it's called app.js, for me it's doorserver.js and I'm going to add these few lines that I'm going to leave in the description before starting your server. So once you've done that, just go ahead and start your server. In my, in my case, uh, I just have to write npm run and doors. That's my script to run my server. And I have my application is listening, so let's try it now. I'm going to clear it up and log in. And sure enough, I am logged in and I don't have any problem. Okay, that's out of the way. Now that's problem number one solved. Now, let me go back, clear up all my console. But I have another problem now. If I want to debug my application, let's go back to my backend, and I'm going to go to a controller, one of my controllers, so I'm going to go to app, controllers, doors, controller, and I'm going to make a breakpoint here, breakpoint here, and if I want to start debugging my application, just have to go to debug and start debugging, right? Let's try that. Well, the debugger is, well, first of all, I forgot to mention that. Uh, let's stop this service server from working. I'm going to hit on Control C. So I finished from serving. And I will do it again now. Go to debug, start debugging. And as you can see, uh, I don't have the menu bar for debugging or any anything and it's complaining here about debugger it says no configuration uh, if I start it's uh, it's just gonna stop immediately so how to solve that notice that um, the, uh, in your application here you should have a folder called dot js dot I forgot the name I'm gonna show you immediately I will go to debug and add a configuration. And by doing so, your uh, Visual Studio Code is going to create this folder and this file for you. Launch.js. Launch.json. And uh, this is called a configuration. So this is called launch program. Uh, but to debug our uh, application, because we are using NPM, right? We are using this npm uh, commands script uh, so we should use uh, this option so I'm going to create add configuration and click on npm launch via npm and this will create a new configuration so I'm going to call it my config or my the my config and hit on save okay we are almost done now i go to debugger and select my config and hit on run don't forget to stop your working server here go to debug console clear the console and clear again we have a clean console now we click on start debugging and as you can see, it's listening on port 20, 9229, but your, your app server is, wor is listening on uh, 8080. So let's go ahead and add some breakpoints. So I'm going to go to my app, controllers, door controller. I have two breakpoints here. So if I go and post my username and password, Let's take a look at that. And by the way, I'm going to show you the code for this very quick. So what I'm doing in the front end 
this is just an AJAX call and uh, I call it target URL so this is my back end URL and I'm just making an AJAX post call post uh, method to this endpoint okay so I'm gonna send in send in the uh, username and password to the back end so I'm gonna hit on login and sure enough my debugger is working and I can check what's going on here and I have all my uh, debugger information okay so that's how you debug with uh, uh, Node.js in uh, you get rid of the course problem in both running server mode and the debugger mode I hope that was clear and uh, thank you for watching bye